Satellite and radar picture locally. Not much to track, not a whole lot going on here. Thankfully, we can uh, end the weekend pretty dry and quiet, and it's going to be a little bit cooler tomorrow morning. Temperatures in the upper 60s to low 70s to start the day, and then we're going to see those highs back in the 80s, but I think a few areas may stay in the low 80s the farther north you live, with an isolated shower thunderstorm possible during the peak heating of the day, maybe even after sunset. You'll see here on forecast track, while it does provide us with a small blip of rain here, I don't think that's going to happen during the overnight hours. Tomorrow morning, waking up nice and dry. Dry. But again, second half of the day, we might be watching for some new development here and there. But there is the potential for a nice little cluster of storms to arrive very early Tuesday morning, maybe just after sunrise and closer to midday by 11 a.m. This model is a little bit more aggressive than other ones, but I do think that there could be the potential for a couple of strong to severe thunderstorms out of this one. You can see here, though, only in northeast Kansas and northwestern Missouri is there a marginal risk for severe weather tomorrow, and that's mainly for the evening hours. I think the Storm Prediction Center will likely be changing their thinking, especially if the models continue to trend in that direction for that cluster of storms to arrive Tuesday morning. For now, held off on the weather alerts because the uh, cluster of storms could actually weaken by the time it reaches the metro, which means it wouldn't be a huge impact for those going to work or school. But we'll be keeping a close eye on that. Aaron Little and Bill and Gary, all of them being here Mondays and Tuesdays, of course, we'll keep a close eye on that. All right, Security Bank seven day forecast. 90s return though next uh, weekend, and it'll be a little bit drier too. Greg? All right, thank you very much, Alina.